Well, we interrupted our regular programming to bring you more about the latest, uh, that is that Iran has captured a U.S. drone that has violated the country's airspace. You're looking at the latest pictures that have come in in which the IRGC has made this announcement and is uh, backing that up with what you're seeing there on your screens. Now, the Islamic Revolution Guard Corps has said that this unmanned aerial vehicle, uh, which is a Scan Eagle, was on a reconnaissance mission over the Persian Gulf in the past few days. And the commander of the IRGC's naval forces says that these drones often take off from giant airplane carriers uh, stationed uh, in and around the Persian Gulf. There you're seeing some visuals of this uh, drone, which is named the Scan Eagle. Uh, this is not the first time that Iran has captured a, a U.S. drone spying on its territory. Back in December of 2011, a spy drone was captured by Iran, of which uh, Iran later on uh, decoded it and has obtained the technology used in uh, uh, what uh, the U.S. has done on a number of occasions, so much so that Tehran uh, sent an official complaint uh, to the U.N. on this. Of course, Tehran has been complaining that the uh, U.S. spy drones have been uh, violating its territory, uh, and uh, we're seeing another proof of that, uh, this being a video of this U.S. Uh, Scan Eagle drone that you're seeing there uh, that has been captured. Now, the extent of the U.S. surveillance activity uh, is uh, based on the number of times that Iran has said that the U.S. has violated its airspace, uh, whether it's on the, uh, on the eastern side of the country or on uh, the border with Afghanistan, of which uh, uh, sites have been uh, mentioned by Iran of violations by the U.S. Uh, last time around, uh, the U.S. President Barack Obama, when the uh, drone was captured back in December 2011, uh, the response uh, the U.S. gave was that they wanted the drone back. Of course, that's not something that Iran complied to. But here we have uh, the Scan Eagle drone uh, and its capture uh, that's uh, made by the uh, IRGC. And uh, the latest pictures uh, are testament to just that. Uh, in re uh, recent uh, months, uh, the Americans have increased the surveillance uh, of uh, Iran's territory with the use of these drones. Uh, and uh, they have said that uh, this is not something that they are in violation of, as some of the reactions. Uh, they maintain that surveillance is conducted off the country's shoreline, which is in line with international law. But that's not uh, how Iran sees it. Iran sees this as being a violation of its territory and that the uh, U.S. Uh, spy drones uh, spying on Iranian territory uh, is not uh, complying with international laws. And there you are seeing the video of this uh, U.S. Scan Eagle drone that has been captured by the IRGC. Now, of course, there's some speculation that the U.S. has stepped up the surveillance uh, of uh, Iran's territory in response to Iran's uh, drive for civilian nuclear energy. Also, some uh, statements being made uh, uh, based on some reports that uh, this has been done over uh, Iran's nuclear power plants, but uh, that's uh, the reaction coming from the other side. At this point, what we can say is that uh, Iran has captured this U.S. drone. It has stated that it has violated its territory and its airspace, and that this unmanned aerial vehicle was on a reconnaissance mission over the Persian Gulf, of which uh, the commander of the IRGC naval forces has said that these drones often take off from giant airplane carriers, of course, in reference to U.S. Uh, carriers, the name of this uh, particular drone is called the Scan Eagle, of which you're seeing there the images. Uh, this was captured uh, by Iran in its airspace, and the accusation Iran has made that it was uh, uh, spying over its territory over the Persian Gulf in the southern part of Iran. It's interesting to see. This is another model of the... Uh, a drone that has been captured, this one named the Scan Eagle. Uh, the prior one was a different type of uh, uh, drone was which captured uh, in uh, reference to the one back in December of 2011. That particular spy drone model was the RQ-170. But the latest that you're seeing there, just in, of uh, the Scan Eagle drone that has been captured by Iran, the second U.S. drone in less than a year. We have to wait and see what type of uh, statement is going to be issued by the U.S., whether it's through their uh, State Department or, or perhaps the U.S. President coming out and making a statement of that effect. Of course, the repercussions of this uh, could be seen in uh, the testy relations that do exist between Iran and the United States, uh, but uh, we have to wait and see what kind of explanation the U.S. has to give about this. And what's interesting is that the U.S. violates Iran's airspace based on uh, statements made by Iran. 
uh, on numerous occasions, this being the latest one of which it has resulted in Iran capturing the U.S. drone. There was an incident back about a month ago of which another U.S. drone entered Iran's uh, airspace of which it was uh, driven away by Iran's uh, Air Force at that point. No capture uh, there as a result, only the fact that uh, the uh, U.S. spy drone uh, entering Iran's airspace was driven away by Iran's uh, Air Force. But this particular incident, Iran has said that over the past few days they have spotted this uh, drone uh, spying on Iran's territory over the Persian Gulf waters in southern Iran, and it resulted in the successful capture by uh, uh, Iran, in which the IRGC has come out with the latest pictures, uh, sending as proof uh, to the capture of this particular U.S. Uh, drone by the name of Scan Eagle. And again, the latest pictures that you see there are the video of this U.S. Scan Eagle drone captured over the Persian Gulf waters, brought down by Iran in Iran's hands. Uh, and the IRGC has sent us the, the latest pictures showing uh, their uh, capture of this particular U.S. drone. And keep in mind what you're seeing there is, uh, at least from the, the visual here, that it's uh, intact. Uh, don't see any really parts missing there. Uh, however, uh, that's up for analysts to uh, uh, pretty much break down the uh, capture and the uh, actual piece being in, a, in one whole uh, piece there. Uh, but it appears to be uh, brought down and uh, in one piece, as we're seeing there, there's explanations that are being given there by uh, uh, the people involved, which are probably personnel of the armed forces of Iran, of the IRGC. But we're seeing the su successful capture of this particular drone by the name of Scan Eagle. It's going to be interesting also to see, of course, this could be classified information of what type of information this particular drone has indeed intercepted. There's a big question as to the uh, border that uh, exists in the Persian Gulf uh, in terms of uh, any intrusion that's being made, which is roughly about 20 uh, miles. Uh, but when it comes to a spy drone, obviously it could uh, be beyond the 20 miles uh, spying onto uh, different territories or different countries, in this particular case in point, being uh, that Iran feels like this particular drone uh, was spying on Iran's territory over the Persian Gulf in the past few days, resulting in action from the Iran to uh, pursue it, bringing it down. There's an explanation given there, uh, and we're seeing obviously the drone in one piece complete, as far as the, as far as we can see from here. Now, so far, uh, this is not a. Uh, case in point or an instant that is uh, uh, rare. Uh, this has been uh, uh, an incident that has uh, repeated itself uh, on a number of occasions. Iran uh, has complained uh, formally to the UN uh, regarding uh, the U.S. violation of its uh, airspace, of its territory. It formally protested this to the Pentagon in terms of the spying activities back in November uh, in a letter that was sent to the UN uh, Secretary General Ban Ki-moon. Uh, the UN asserted at that point uh, that uh, the, the U.S. had violated Iranian airspace with its drone flights. But in particular, in the past uh, month, uh, this particular instance uh, uh, was uh, repeated in scope uh, just about a month ago, or maybe a little over a month ago, of which a U.S. drone uh, came into Iranian territory and it was uh, chased away by Iranian fighter jets. Uh, and then another case of a U.S. drone being captured and brought down was back in December of 2011, uh, in which uh, the Iranian uh, uh, Air Force was able to bring the U.S. drone down. This was around the Afghan border of which it was sighted, 
uh, that uh, uh, the U.S. drone was uh, uh, spying on Iranian territory. However, Iran uh, has been complaining about uh, this U.S. violation, and uh, uh, the, one of the reasons cited by uh, the officials, based on some of the reports that we're getting, is that uh, the Americans are increasing the surveillance of Iran's uh, territories, in this case in point, uh, in the southern part of the country, based on uh, what they say uh, is Iran's uh, nuclear reactor, the Boucher power plant. But again, this is based on some reports, can't be independently verified at this point. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see what type of classified information uh, is going to be revealed in terms of what the U.S. has obtained. But obviously it shows the extent of uh, these drones in terms of uh, what they can or cannot do. And of course, uh, Iran has uh, successfully brought down this particular drone.